Morning. You do? Rumble. Grab your cup of joe, let's go. Oh. Needs that job of Jake's to get jump started in the morning. Running behind this morning, I slept in. Of course, I was, didn't sleep all that good last night. I was up at one, went back to bed about 3.30. I don't know. I was out yesterday running some errands, doing some stuff. I got a text message from a from a Nikki with two K's, one I. Anyways. Says hi. James. So now you know they don't know me. I'll be assisting your agent in your auto policy renewal. My guess, that time of the year again, that's fine and dandy, whatever, you know. Nothing ever changes unless, you know, I change a vehicle. So I, I just answered, said, okay, cool. Then before I get home, I got an email from Brittany, my agent. Said, it's time to renew. Give me a call at your earliest convenience. So I got home and I sat down here in my little corner of solitude and I... I gave old Brittany a call, and we're going over everything, and she goes, uh, you know, your policy hasn't renewed since Pete was my agent, and yeah, Pete was a little bit on the shyster side, you know what I mean. After Cindy passed away, and I went, I went, because they, they're my uh, insurance agent, they were in the area, so I went to their office. Sat down with Pete, said, well, we got to take Cindy off of this, and that, and that, and that. And he goes, well, you know, he goes, you got a discount because it was the two of you, and, you know, you had multiple cars in your house, and yada, 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 yada. He goes, uh, he goes, if I take Cindy off, he goes, your premium's going to go up. And I was, okay, whatever, you know. But it's not like she's going to go out and get into an accident. So, Brittany, she's going over this, and she goes, you now live in Minner. I go, correct. She goes, and what about your condo in Monroe Falls? And I said, don't have one anymore. Don't, lost it. And I'm thinking, oh, that's right. She didn't hear the story about how. Yeah. So I gave her, I gave her the Reader's Digest version of the story, and she's like, oh man, she, that's horrible. I said, yeah, it is what it is, and can't, can't change it, right? Just sit back and wait for karma to do her job, which karma's on the job. And she goes, yeah. she goes, but why are you, why are you still paying on insurance for the condo? I go, I shouldn't be. I said, I told Pete, take the condo off because it was gone. She goes, well, she goes, that's one of the reasons why Pete's no longer here. She goes, let me, you can hear her just clicking away on them keys, you know. 
She goes, okay. She goes, well, she goes, since we're only insuring your truck now, and you don't work anymore, you're retired. She goes, what do you think you drive in a year? And I said, maybe if the weather's nice, I might knock out 10,000 miles in a year. She goes, oh, okay. And we had been with farmers for like a bazillion years. She goes, well, actually, she goes, I'm going to move you to Erie You'll have the same amount of coverage you have now, your same deductible, she goes, but every year you don't have a claim, part of your deductible disappears until it's gone completely. I'm like, okay, let's go with that. And she goes, now I'm gonna cancel your, your condo insurance. And she goes, I'm gonna date it back as far as they will let me And if it works out, you'll get a refund. I'm like, now, that's something I can go with. I believe Brittany will do her best to get me a refund on my homeowner's insurance since I haven't owned a home for almost three years now. Old Pete had a simple job to do. He just had to point and click and cancel. But he didn't do it. So. Then if I don't get a refund, do I go after Pete for his uh, lack of ability to do his job? to be reimbursed for what I shouldn't have been paying for. Again, putting money into other people's pockets, like lawyers. And for the amount of the refund, eh. Anyways, so, hey. 2024 starting out to be pretty doggone good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she moved my truck in my cabinet. They also, they also insure my cabinet. They moved that over to Erie and my uh, premium is half of what I was paying at Farmers. So that's all right. You know, I turn, turn 65, so that means you gotta take, you know, the government makes you take their Medicare, and they take that out of your your government pension. So you start looking for other ways to, you know, make ends meet. Cutting my insurance in half is a good start. Twenty nine degrees here on the north coast. Light, light snow on the ground and the vehicle, not the pavement. Next, uh, well, this Monday I got my my six month 
medical checkup. I feel pretty good about it. Especially since I'm going to be walking in. Taking the cane just in case. Leaving the walker home. It was pretty good yesterday. I, you know, I was walking around the house and it was almost like I was almost back to normal. I'll never be normal. Watching the neighbor over there put his garbage out. He, he's one of them skinny pant guys. I don't know. Whoever thought that was a good idea. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. You're not learning, you're being left behind. Go be kind. That's all we got. Peace. Go on. Go on, I gotta close the door because it's 29 degrees out, okay? See ya.